Hi friends, it's Queen Alita. I'm back today with another message from the Lord. This one is based on a dream that I had on April 26th. I've also had um, similar dreams with the same theme, same kind of happenings going on um, in recent weeks. But I'm going to specifically focus on this dream, which is the latest one. Um, because they're pretty much the same so i just want to welcome you back to the channel and if you're new welcome quick quick disclaimer it's important to note that not every prophetic message is meant for you so if you believe it's for you and you want to run with it please take it to the lord ask him to confirm it for you it's important that you have that relationship with him that you are able to hear from him don't just run with everything because it sounds good don't just assume that because you clicked on the video, this must be God leading you. We all have uh, curiosity and sometimes we just like a title and we like what we hear. And meanwhile, God is trying to tell us something else. So it's important that you take it back to him. And I know that for some of you, this is confirmation. What I'm about to share will be something that God has already been speaking to you about. But if you have any questions, please take that back to him. Okay. Relationship is key. Okay, so like I said, the dream was on April 26th. And in this dream, I remember just finding myself in a place that I had been before doing what I'd been doing before. But everything was just so different. And I was trying to kind of adapt, to readapt and figure things out because I had been in this different place for six months. I knew in the dream that I'd been somewhere else for six months and that now I was trying to drive the way that the people drove there. I was trying to do things the way that they would they had, they do it there. And even though I'd been to this place before, that um, learning process again, learning everything again was so different. It felt like I had never done these things before. And even as I was going about doing things in the dream, I felt like the process to getting to this place, to doing this thing where I now was, where I had been before, um, it had felt like something that was supposed to be difficult, something that would have been challenging. But I've had two dreams in which I found myself in this new place and thinking, how did I get past this? that thing how did i overcome the obstacle that i've always known to be there like it it almost seemed like it was a non-event and it was something that i'd been worrying about unnecessarily right so that was the dream and that's been the theme of the dreams that i've been having um lately as well so what i sense the lord was sharing with me for those who it's for the Lord wants to finish the thing he started with you. The thing or the things he started with you. And he's going to do this. First of all, the first step is to reacclimate you back into that thing that you were doing before or that place that you were before. I looked up the word reacclimate because it just dropped in my spirit. It's not a word that I use at all i don't think i've ever used the word reacclimate i know i've heard it but i've never used it and it just dropped in my spirit and i looked it up because i've heard it being spoken in sentences and i kind of have a general meaning of what it is but i wanted to read it to you as well um, and here's the definition that i found it says here to readapt someone or something to a new temperature altitude climate climate, <laughs> environment, or situation to acclimate again, right? So I like this definition because this is exactly what the dream was showing, that God wants to readapt you to this place that you've been before, but it's going to be new, that things are going to be different. It's going to be a new temperature, a new altitude, a new climate. Think of that metaphorically, okay? It's going to be a new environment, even though you've been there before, or it's something that you were doing before, but it's in a new environment. It's in a different setting, but you were doing it before and the Lord had to put a pause on it because there was some work that needed to be done. He got the process started because he wants to show you that he finishes what he starts, that he is um, a God of his word that he will start a thing in you and he will finish it so some of you may have been deterred by you know you thought that this thing was was about to happen and you were gonna do this thing that God has been asking you to do or he's put on your heart and then all of a sudden the brakes were put on it you no matter what you tried it was like something 
one thing after the other just getting in the way of it until you decided okay clearly (laughs) i need to get my hands off this this is not the devil trying to stop me this is the lord saying we're going to pause right here and i need to rebalance you this is a continuation of what the lord has been sharing since the beginning of the year the word that i shared probably two days ago about being rebalanced about um just you coming into that into a, a, a mindset uh, a heart stance that will allow you to be successful in the things that God wants you to do in the 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 way that he wants you to have an impact in this world right everything is getting really dark in this world and we cannot be weak and easily um, manipulated which is why the Lord has had to allow us to go through some very very painful and difficult things um, and now he's saying once you're done and like I mentioned in the last video it, it's been a six-month process for most of you or for whoever this word is for from January up until June and again in this dream I knew that I had been away for six months and now I was back doing this thing in this place that I've been before trying to navigate my way again trying to figure things out trying to do things the way that I'm supposed to be doing them just re-adapting to to where I was to the environment so just again that six month period coming up again it's just been a recurring theme and so things are going to be different in the place where you were before or in the thing that you were doing before but you are going back okay and getting there won't be a challenge so that obstacle or the obstacles that you have um kind of fed into like you know these are maybe things that seem quite tangible um that may be in place that could get in the way of you getting to where God needs you to be. And so they've been like this block in your mind as to how you will overcome that. And they've almost made you feel like, I can't move forward. I'm going to have to wait. I'm going to have to give this some time. Maybe in a year, maybe in two years, I don't think that this is going to work because of this obstacle. And God is saying, it won't even be, it's going to be such, you'll actually feel like, What was I worried about in the first place when you overcome it? It's not an obstacle. It may seem that way in your mind, but it's not an obstacle. It will be such a non-event. Just like in the dream, I was like, hey, how did I? And it's two dreams where I found myself in this new place. And I'm like, how did I get past that? You know, both dreams asking myself the same question. So those obstacles that seemed seem quite real are really not obstacles at all okay so whatever it is that you were doing before that you felt like just didn't quite finish and you you may even be questioning god like did you actually say this am i supposed to be doing this like i thought this is what you called me to do and the lord wants you to know that he is finishing it that you are going to be going back into that thing in a little while and i have two scriptures here today um the first one is genesis 2 verse 2 and it says here by the seventh day god had finished the work he had been doing so on the seventh day he rested from all his work i want you to know that god finishes he is a finisher He finishes the work that he set out to do. If he started a thing in you, he's going to finish it. The next verse is Philippians 1 verse 6. And it reads as follows. Being confident of this very thing, that he who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. And this scripture leads into tomorrow's message or maybe the day after depending on when i'll i'll put the video out but the scripture will lead into the next message the lord dropped something in my spirit when he gave me this scripture and he said not for this particular video so that's all i'm going to leave you with today friends i will see you in the next video i really pray that the word has blessed you if it's for you um and i'll see you in the next video always remember that god is a good father he loves you so much because you my friend are so deeply special to him